was asked to repair a vacuum cleaner the other day. Yes, there is nothing really odd about that. But look at what got dropped off. A shark navigator, a machine that on the surface we should be quite familiar with now after our job lot shenanigans. So, apparently the brush roll doesn't turn. We're going to see if we can troubleshoot and repair it in this video. Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, first thing we're going to do is check whether the lady was telling me the truth or not. Because this could always make things different. Well, there is a motor but no brush roll, and the switch is on the carpet position. Which is exactly what she said was wrong with it. Ah. Come on, wand. Oh, okay. ah. What I want to do is take this out. We also have a completely torn inner hose, but that's not the biggest issue in the world. I'm slightly concerned as to why this isn't coming out. The button does not seem to be releasing it, so we're going to have to do it the manual way. Well, we'll take this bit off. Can we take this bit off? Yes, we can. That seems okay. Move that off there because I couldn't quite. I, there was just no sign of any life at all. I mean, that's not saying much, but I couldn't hear the motor spinning, so I want to eliminate the wand first of all. So we'll push this button in and then pull our wand out. Yes, yeah, something is definitely broken on there, it's probably jammed up inside because that's turning fine. Ah, there we go. Look, it's just gummed up because it's a shark and that's what they do. I'm checking was that the connectors in there haven't been on fire which they have not. So very very interesting. I can already roughly work out what's going on I think because there's also no headlight on there. So we shall put the hose straight into there. We'll put you onto here. Ah. How interesting. So we have a problem with our wand. And this wouldn't click in to here, but that's probably not the worst problem in the world because this seems to jam itself on anyway. Let's get this apart and see what we can find under there. So that's how this works, it's just a bar and then the standard shark angled plastic there. Give that little drop of oil in a second. But what I want to get out is the power connector. Two more, oh, here we go, look, more swapping around of little tiny screwdriver bits. I doubted myself, so I've just re-watched the last clip that I filmed, and look, we've got a broken wire. I haven't done that damage. I did check, I went back through what I've done. I reckon that's caught itself. 
when it was made or it's been apart before which is why it was jammed and that snapped that wire which considering that works fine with that off is very telling indeed the problem is going to be fixing it oh i'm going to have to patch a new piece of oh yeah and now we run into more shark fun oh all this sort of rubbish i'm going to strip that back and try and bridge that connection oh focus ah let me try and work out how to do that and I'll come back. Certainly not very pretty, but it should work. I don't think that's not a wire that carries voltage. That's like the sensor wires that turn the LEDs on and off when the thing's pulled out. But either way, oh, let's reassemble it. See if it fixes the initial problem on this machine. All done and back together. Let's put our one into the floor head and indeed we can take it out again now that we've unjammed all of that bottom bit there then we'll fit the hose to the one it's all so wobbly and worn and ready I say yay because obviously we still have a horrific problem with the floor head. So this is the part of the video where we have to stop and I have to send a few messages and quote her to replace the inside hose which she didn't know was broken anyway because hey that's just how life with a <gasps> shark goes. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Yes, this is... This is typical shark ness. It really is. I mean, crikey, if she wants any more work done, we'll give her a clean up, bless it. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, this is where the video stops and what happens after this happens. Of course, she said yes. Why wouldn't she? She can't use the thing until we've done what we need to do. I actually just realised that there's a, a locking thing missing as well. I had that on the job lots that I had because that is what shark do. So we have a mixture of torques and crosshead to get out. Ah, and this is a problem that we've seen before. Look, this joint here is broken which is causing the thing to not stand up itself. So we need to possibly see about fogging that as well. And on this generation, you just, ah, you just take out all the screws and then pile them up because there's only three types. Then you have to swap uh, to a crosshead for some of the others because hey, why not? And there's a crosshead one here that these two at the front. Come on, because you need to stay roughly together. And there's an even tinier one here which oh, oh my little broken crosshead can do. Fabulous. Eh. Like that. Then he says, then have I missed a, a screw? I don't think so. Ah, yes, look, we missed one of those torque screws there. Now you need to stay open. have missed something because there is an extra screw under here crikey it's been a little while since i've done one of these and obviously i did many of them at once you've got to take those out so they're not fixed in they're just sat in there minding their own business anyway come on No, don't go down further. Out. Mm. 
then under this seal at the front it is because why not why put screws in accessible places ah you don't want to damage this seal there so you peel it back and then under there somewhere is a screw but uh, gets gunked up with yuck because that's what sharks do they gunk themselves up with yuck ah that's why that screwdriver bit didn't work it's one of the tiny little weedy ones which get out we don't want to lose there we go here is our shark here is our broken hose as well so oh, pop that bit out then we have to get the rest of it out of here which is always good fun and on some of the other sharks there is you can see where the plastic clips in by I'm doing something up here, but no, not on this one. We just have to poke and pry until we pull this out. So the easy way to do it is to rip all the rest of the hose out. And then just go at it, really, with your screwdriver, because it's screwed in deep, deep down. Is there more than one screw or is that it? I'm sure there's more than one screw in here. Yeah, there it is. Then, once your screws are out, there is a specific orientation that this comes out in. Come on. This is why it's a horrible job, really. Because half of the battle is just putting out bits of housing that bind up on themselves. It's the modern vacuum cleaner way. Just come out. I'm going to get that out and we'll carry on. There we go. It is out of our hose. We're just going to clean up the recline lock switches. And look, we have a broken piece of housing, which is not good news, but... we go they roughly still work whatever but it's never going to be fab now because of that broken clip and see if we can put it it's going, to, it's going to be tape on it really and everything else has fallen out but we'll work that out in a minute we'll keep pulling our ripped hose out of the other end of the proceedings and then I shall take my Hoover Turbo Power 2 hose like so, and screw one end into this bit. Well, it's a perfect fit, as we all know, because we've used two of the turbo power hoses a lot here. Then you put it back, and it's these two tabs here that go down the side, and it only goes one way, so like so, and then it twists at the back. And the same to pull out, you have to align them top and bottom there. So we'll get you in, then we'll place you back on, because I had just realised I forgot to measure it with the other way, but equally you don't need a lot because you want a little bit of stretch as well. So I think about there is going to be absolutely fine. So I shall stab this here and then go find some pocket cutters and give that a snip. And then when you've got both ends fitted, it's just a case of fiddling it all back together 
uh, you've got to line up these bits, do wrap it screws. Then when all this is buttoned in, it's time for the fun. That is this end, and you have to push it into the housing. There's a hole here, and a hole at the bottom, and the whole thing has to line up exactly. It'll take a couple of goes, unless there's a way that you know to do it that I don't, but square and then in seems to do it because it should look like that when it's done and I can't really clean much else on it because I'm not taking the brush roll out I don't care that much so it's time to put this back together starting with the LED housings that will fall off on you and they sort of sit ugh, again they're horrible they go in the bottom and then clip on the top and now as soon as you move this head, if you need to move it, they will fall off, so bear that in mind. Then, making sure that everything down here is sat properly, and that the wires are not going to get pinched, lay the top housing, no wait, don't lay the top housing down, uh, fit this little chap here, which again falls off with fun. It just slots on there like that for the motor. Oh, come on, you will drop down. Oh my goodness, you see? Then all the things will fall off as you do it. Come on, I have this down to a fine art. What's wrong with me? It's these. There we go. One head on. We'll do up all of its screws. Then we can put the base plate back on, but I have just noticed, and unfortunately I don't have a spare. Look how worn the brush roll is. <gasps> Crikey, still fairly stiff. But very, 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 very worn. Ugh. But what we can also do, whilst this thing is apart, is to just clean the edges where the rubber seals are, because that will make a lot of difference to this thing. There's so much fluff compacted on it that it's just, yeah. It'll make it work a heck of a lot better. So I'm going to spend a couple of minutes just cleaning this up. Marvellous. Then we just need to find our random crosshead screws that are dotted around the place and fit them in. I've done the front one. I now can't find the little one that goes in there, which is quite annoying, but we'll do these two front crossheads as well. One there. Eh. Ah, here it is. Found your, yeah, you can go in with the little broken cross head because that works. But yeah, either way, once that's done, this is ready to test. So let's see if it has some suction now. Have we broken it anymore? Which does sometimes happen, doesn't it? In the hilarious way that life throws things at you. So, ah, gosh, these are fiddling to put back together. You on there, you on there. You plug into here and yeah. perfect. It's fine, it stands up. We haven't managed to fix the slightly broken bit of the housing but we can't because it's broken on a bit that has so much stress we'd have to basically epoxy the whole head together to do anything which we're not doing what we are going to do though because it is very painfully obvious that this is no good is clean up well everything really we'll clean up this i'll give the bin a bit of a wipe down just because she was going to give this to her son she's already bought a new vacuum cleaner if i can fix this up 
She's going to give it to her son, has something for him to have. He's just moved out. and We can't let him have that, can we? So let's change that and clean everything else up. Those filters! <gasps> that was perfectly normal really for a shark where nobody checks them and lets them get into that state. Now that did blow out fairly well and would probably go through the washing machine okay. And that's what I'll do because we are going to fit a new one because bless you, I quite like this shark. It's red is appealing to me. Plus I have many sets of filters for these because trying to buy them for my purple apex resulted in four sets of these being delivered, four sets of them being refunded, and yeah, I have rather a lot, so we may as well put them to use. I'll wash those up so I can keep those as a spare and do what I do with Dyson filters, which is always keep some around and then I can just swap. And that's the biggest benefit for, you know, good customer satisfaction. You know, what we've done is replace the hose and look, we've made it look better than it is. And I've still got spare filters. And yeah, I can then wash, wear them and put them in with other machines. Now this thing should work significantly better now. Put the hose on. Oh yeah. Although, actually that's not gone completely plastered. I think we managed to blow it most of the dust out, the rest of the dust is going to be sat around the internal sound deadening, making this thing run a good couple of degrees hotter than it should, but we're not going that deep into it folks. No way, Jose! Let's just check that our original fix works. Yep. Oh. Despite its warm brush roll, that thing is going to do Okay, so there we are. A quick repair of a broken wand. I think something must have happened down there, which is why it was all jammed up. That is not a place I would usually associate a broken wire with. But hey, we found one, we fixed it, it fixed the problem. And then we gave the thing a well-needed new internal hose, a sort of service, but I haven't been able to fully fix it because of that broken housing. I don't want to epoxy it together because if it needs more work in the future, I'll just tell her that it exists and to be careful with it. But until then, I was dragging, dragging the hose of the Apex blower over, which came in tremendously handy. There we go. I hope this helps you. Give your own shark a service, please do. These, the, uh, this thing was probably only a little while away from burning its motor out and joining the pile of broken sharks. That is a lovely red colour, which I really quite like. Tell me below, where was this red colour? Because don't forget, all the trim is just interchangeable, as we know. Where was this sold? What store exclusive was the nice, pretty red one? And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.